Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Molly virus. Back in 2015, French researchers discovered a gigantic virus that they found in a sample of Siberian permafrost. This spherical DNA virus wasn't just any old virus, no, this one was about 30,000 years old. For the virus to survive that long, frozen in ice truly is remarkable and also absolutely terrifying. There is good news, however, it is said that although some refer to this virus as a behemoth, it is said that the new discovery only infects amoebas, which means that it is unlikely to ravage the planet anytime soon. At least we hope. In our number 9 spot today, we have Lake Vostok. Many of us have heard of Atlantis, but have you heard of Lake Vostok? This lake is located in Antarctica, and it is so huge, it's one of the largest lakes in the entire world. The lake not only has a large surface area, but it's also quite deep, which only adds to the volume of the lake. It's like the lakiest lake out there, and here's the thing about it. It is covered by ice, and not just any ice, but the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, which is just the largest ice sheet in the world. This subglacial lake has ice so thick that we don't really know a lot about what lies beneath it, and the ice has been there for millions of years. But when the first samples of the actual lake water were taken, it became apparent that there may be species in the lake that we know absolutely nothing about. In our number 8 spot today, we have the female mummy. Back in 2017, there was a mummy found in Siberia that absolutely rocked the scientific community. This discovery was so remarkable because deep within the permafrost, close to the Arctic Circle, they found the mummified remains of a woman who was roughly 900 years old. Said to have come from the medieval times, this marked the first woman to be discovered in that area, as previously it had been mostly men. It appears as though the mummification part was accidental, but it was quite a surprise to researchers who had thought that they wouldn't find a woman's remains in the area at all. It is said that all of the bodies found in this area belonged to a hunting and fishing civilization, and this discovery gave experts very valuable insight into their lives and the times in which they lived. In our number 7 spot today, we have Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the highest active volcano in Antarctica, as well as the southernmost active volcano on Earth. Got a lot going on. The volcano has been active for 1.3 million years, and it features a lava lake in the inner summit crater that's been present since the early 1970s. You might be thinking, uh, it's a volcano, which surely is like the opposite of ice, right? But as it turns out, this volcano is like the definition of fire and ice. Here you can be sure to find numerous ice fumaroles, which are ice towers that form around the gases that are released or that escape from the vents on the surface. This creates a perfect home, not for many, but for some persevering and adaptable bacteria and fungi. This gives scientists quite the opportunity to study these organisms that can live in this extreme environment that doesn't really provide a lot of resources. In our number 6 spot today, we have the Iceman. The mummy of Oatsy, who is also referred to as the Iceman, was found in 1991 in the Oetzel Alps in Italy. It is believed that Oetzi lived around 3000 BC and his body became mummified and preserved because of the glacier that surrounded him post-mortem. While this is an incredibly interesting discovery, the finding of Oetzi may have come in a package with an old curse just waiting to be released. Here's the thing, the people who helped with the discovery of Oetzi are all dying under mysterious circumstances. I mean, it is said that there were 7 deaths in one year alone, so if there is a curse, it's clearly a pretty strong one. It's almost as if disturbing a man who's been in the same spot for 53 centuries wasn't the best idea that anyone's ever had. In our number 5 spot today, we have Europa. We are going off planet for this one. One of Jupiter's moons, called Europa, has a red tinge to it, and in 2001, NASA scientists revealed that it's possible that alien microbes might be responsible for this red color. The surface of this moon is mostly ice, but it has been shown that it reflects infrared radiation in a really bizarre way. This means that something is binding it together, but researchers haven't been able to come up with the correct combination of elements and compounds to make the data make sense. There are some bacteria on Earth that can thrive in extreme conditions that also have that red and brown color which could potentially be responsible for the color on this moon. The surface temperature might be too cold for them to survive, but the warmer interior might be where they are located. Some geological activity on the moon could then push them closer to the surface where they are then flash frozen in place. In our number 4 spot today, we have P38. In 2018, a team of researchers were using a drone with ground penetrating radar technology when they found something that no one could have predicted. 300 feet deep in the Greenland ground, encased in ice, was a World War II plane. This P38 Lightning fighter plane is actually just one out of eight that were a squadron. This P38 Lightning fighter plane was actually just one out of eight that were a part of a squadron. This group had all been lost and had crash landings 
after a blizzard on July 15, 1942. After locating the fighter plane, researchers were able to then excavate it, but there still remains at least four in this squadron that have yet to be located. In our number three spot today, we have Skeleton Lake. Also sometimes referred to as Mystery Lake, this place is exactly what it sounds like. It's a lake and there's a bunch of skeletons there. Located in the Himalayas, this lake freezes over in the winter months, but when the snow melts, there are various skeletons around the site that become visible around the edges of the lake. There have been many speculations as to how these people died, and at one point it was thought that these remains were a result of a pretty legendary event where all in a single group they were killed by a large and violent hailstorm, but the leading theory has since changed. Now it is said that the remains actually belong to three distinctly different groups who all died in separate events. At this point the real story of what happened here may just remain a mystery that has left us with a haunting image. In our number two spot today we have Luba. This is the name that was given to a baby mammoth. Mummified remains were found frozen and extremely well preserved in ice. Luba would have roamed the earth about 48,000 years ago which is truly incredible to think about. These mammoth remains were found in 2007 but it was actually a complete accident. The remains were found by a hunter who was out on a frozen peninsula in Russia. But here's where the story takes a bit of a crazy turn. So the man who discovered these remains didn't want to touch her because of a cultural belief that touching a mammoth would cause a bad omen, so he traveled to a nearby town to consult a friend and this is when they decided to contact the authorities. The authorities then flew out to the area to collect the remains, but when they arrived, she had disappeared. The person who found her knew that someone had likely taken her to try and turn a profit, so he began doing some investigations. Long story short, they found the remains outside of a local store and this is when it was revealed to them that the guy who had found the remains initially, his cousin had stolen them and brought them here in exchange for two snowmobiles. In the end, there was unfortunately minor damage to the body that included dogs having chewed off her right ear, but still the find and discovery was still incredible and she was transported to a museum where she continues to give people a look into a time on earth long ago. In our number one spot today we have the Incan mummy. 20,000 feet above sea level on the edge of a volcano, researchers were startled to find a woman frozen in ice. This Incan mummy is said to have been so well preserved that she even still had lice in her hair. The researchers and doctors who examined her after her discovery were completely baffled at how well preserved she was, so much so that some of her features reminded them of a living, breathing human being. Even down to the extremities, it truly was just remarkable. It is believed that this woman likely met her fate where she was found as a result of sacrifice. Because of her well-preserved nature, scientists were able to determine that she was suffering from quite a few ailments, including tuberculosis, which some believe is the reason why she was sacrificed. Coming in at number 10 is Giant Craters. First discovered in Siberia around the 1960s, these giant sinkholes are recorded to measure as much as 160 feet deep and seem to keep expanding year after year. Upon discovery, scientists immediately suspected the cause of these giant, strange holes to be rooted in climate change, and as it turns out, that theory was totally right. Basically, there's this thing called permafrost, which is a thick layer of soil that remains completely frozen, or rather should remain frozen. With rising temperatures, the permafrost is thawing, and as it does, large pockets of methane gas accumulate beneath it. These pockets of gas eventually erupt, sending ice and soil rocketing through the air and leaving behind a giant hole in the ground. But if you ask some conspiracy theorists, they have a different story. Some believe that these craters are the former landing grounds for UFOs that have since left the Earth, and many even believe that the craters are actually a gateway to another world. Coming in at number 9 is a mystery noise. Now, this is somewhat a conspiracy, but according to local northern Canadian hunters, a strange pinging noise was heard coming from the Arctic sea floor. Well, enough residents heard this noise and reported it that the Canadian military actually came to investigate it further. But from there it seems to have become a dead end. The military aircraft failed to find anything hidden in the water and detected no noise at all despite the locals swearing by the phenomenon. But what was that noise that they all heard and where did it go? Well. If you ask conspiracy theorists, they believe it was Russian submarines spying on them, while others have just chalked it up to the movement of ice sheets, which apparently are known to make some bizarre noises from time to time. But craziest of all? According to a few terrified citizens, they think it's the sound of an ancient demon awakening to destroy all humans for good. Next up at number 8 is microplastics. Okay, so while this might not be the typical definition of horrifying, 
horrifying. Our planet being slowly destroyed seems pretty horrifying to me. It turns out that fast fashion is hurting more than just our landfills. These cheap materials that make up so much of today's clothing is making its way into the most remote oceans in the world. Microplastics are these tiny fibers, no bigger than a few millimeters, but are the cause of a massive environmental worry. Apparently, when you do your laundry, the microplastics from your clothing shed and turn up in gray waters. From there, the water travels to a treatment facility, where luckily 95% of these dangerous fibers are trapped, but some inevitably escape. With all the people around the world doing what is pretty much non-stop laundry, billions upon billions of these microplastics are ending up in the Arctic Ocean, and they pose a huge risk to creatures inhabiting the water, like already endangered polar bears, as well as whales, seals, and other critters. Now, of course, it's not like you can just stop cleaning your clothes. I guess that's what makes this one so concerning. Realistically, the only way to stop the rise of microplastics is for manufacturers to cut back on man-made materials that shed these dangerous fibers. Coming in at number seven is an ancient virus. It's not every day you think that you're going to find a prehistoric virus buried 100 feet deep in the Arctic permafrost. But back in 2014, in the depths of icy Siberia, two researchers did exactly that. The ancient virus, named Pithovirus, is believed to date back 30,000 years and has remained completely untouched in its hibernation, but still completely active and capable of infecting amoeba. According to people much smarter than me, it's apparently a giant virus containing 500 genes, which is insane considering that HIV only contains 12. But don't start panicking just yet. Luckily, experts believe it's very difficult to actually become infected by this virus as a human, although technically it wouldn't be impossible. Next up at number six is an ancient Siberian civilization. The Arctic Circle in its entirety includes lots of countries like Norway, Greenland, even our home and native land, Canada. But the further north you go, the less popular popular it tends to be due to the incredibly cold temperatures. But after recent discoveries between the years of 2013 to 2017, it seems as though once upon a time, a medieval civilization dating back to somewhere between the 12th and 13th century was found and cultivated an entire community near the town of Salakard in the Siberian Arctic. To date, archaeologists uncovered a total of 47 burials, including many mummified bodies kept in pristine condition due to the permafrost. Despite some of the mummies being found with shattered bones and crushed skulls, the internal organs were still well preserved. Of all the mummies found, there was only one female, leading experts to believe she must have been from high class or something like that to be mummified among all the men of the time. Coming in at number five is the flight of the eagle. Way, way back in 1897, even less was known about this great icy circle, and a Swedish explorer by the name of Solomon August Andre decided that he was going to be the man to reach the North. North Pole. With the help of two of his friends, he planned to complete the mission via a hydrogen balloon, starting in Svalbard and finishing in either Russia or Canada, planning to pass right over the North Pole on the way. Fast forward 30 years, a group of geologists, as luck would have it, landed on the uninhabited island and happened upon ruins of a camp. They discover a journal left by the expedition team detailing the horrors of this trip. The geologist found out that their balloon began rapidly leaking hydrogen just two days after it began, and they crashed into the ice, halting the journey 500 kilometers from their initial start point. Now, without their method of transportation, they were forced to make their way back on foot in an attempt to survive the harsh winters of the Arctic. Although they survived an initial three months, unfortunately they were no match for the brutal conditions. When the camp was discovered years later, all three bodies were taken back to Sweden to be cremated, thus solving the mystery of the disappearance all those years ago. Next up at number four, viral epidemics. Back in 2016, due to the rising temperatures in the Arctic, the ground was beginning to thaw, and although initially no one really thought much of this, what ended up happening was an anthrax outbreak that actually killed one person and hospitalized 72. The cause? Well, apparently the local groundwater became contaminated by thawing deer cadavers who had once died from this infection. The horrifying part of this is actually the precedent it sets for the future. Because of the cold temperatures in the Arctic, many viruses can actually stay preserved in the bloodstream, as was discovered in 1918 when six young men who died 
died from the Spanish flu were found with their active virus still in their blood. As the earth heats, there's worry that buried bodies from deadly diseases like smallpox could begin to infect the living if the temperatures continue to rise, melting the frozen graves. Next up at number 3 is a secret German base. In October of 2016, Russian scientists uncovered something truly shocking. It turns out back in World War II, he who shall not be named and his band of military followers built a secret military base in the depths of the Arctic soon after their invasion of Russia. Located on Alexanderland, it is not known for sure exactly what the purpose of this bunker was. Some believe it was to learn about and become acquainted with the harsh weather conditions to be able to better attack when the time came. Though some believe the leader sought out ancient relics he believed would give him great power. Upon its 2016 discovery, 500 different artifacts were found, including old weapons and documents pertaining to World War II. As with just about all Arctic discoveries, the artifacts remained in excellent condition due to the extremely low temperatures, but that doesn't make this super secret war bunker any less creepy. Coming in at number 2, the HMS Terror. You may or may not have heard of Sir John John Franklin, the 19th century naval commander who set out to find the Northwest Passage. Well, unlike some of the other explorers of his time, he was actually incredibly prepared. The famous HMS Terror ship was a converted bomb vessel that had survived the War of 1812, and upon his Arctic expedition, the ship was reinforced with iron plating to crush the thick layers of Arctic ice. Stocked with three years worth of food, Sir Franklin and his 134 crew members boarded two ships and set sail. But despite their best efforts, they were no match for the harsh conditions ahead. The ship was lost to the Arctic and its whereabouts remained a complete mystery. That was until August of 2016, when members of Arctic Research Foundation on their own expedition found the ship preserved under the ice. The horrifying part comes when historians were able to piece together what their last days on the vessel could have looked like. Assumed to have been trapped by the ice for over a year and a half, the crew was dropping right, left, and center, including their Captain Franklin. So the remaining survivors decided to abandon the ship and take their chances on foot, planning to reach a remote fur trading outpost hundreds of miles away. With no food, no water, and no resources left, the crew was left with but one thing to keep them alive, each other's flesh. Now there were no survivors, but many bodies remained mummified from the permafrost, allowing historians to learn about what really happened on the infamous HMS Terror. And coming in last up at number one, no more Arctic? Okay, so while this one hasn't necessarily been recovered by a group of researchers or scientists exploring the Arctic, it is certainly a huge concern amongst researchers. The rate climate change is affecting the world as we know is cause for concern and scientists are trying to foresee what might happen. According to a study from 2011, there is concern that all of the Arctic sea ice could be gone by the year 2060 due to the rise in greenhouse gases on the planet. Not only that, if you look at many of the animals native to the Arctic, polar bears, arctic fox, walrus, narwhals, beluga whales. They're all declining in population at massive rates and risking extinction because their environment and food sources are being destroyed by either humans directly or climate change, which is pretty much also caused by humans. So while this might be more of a cautionary tale, it's certainly not a myth. It's obvious that the world around us is in need of our help. And without change, it's very likely we're going to face some dire consequences. Starting us off at number 10, we have frozen bones. One of the most terrifying things that can be found buried in ice has to be human bones. I mean, it's one thing to find a mummy, which is still spooky, but at least they are usually placed there on purpose. These bones, however, have a little more mystery behind them. Back in 1942, a forest guard was out patrolling near the Himalayas when he stumbled across thousands of human bones where the frozen lake had thawed. It was a terrifying sight to say the least, and at first many speculated the remains to belong to the deceased Japanese. Japanese soldiers of World War II. However, it was discovered the remains dated back much earlier than that. These remains actually 
actually dated back to 850 AD, but the cause of death was still very much up for debate. According to an urban legend, the men were celebrating and their celebration disturbed a deity, who then sent hail down on the men ending their celebration and their lives. And while there might be a bit more fiction than fact to that story, happening upon a slew of random creepy bones that were left buried under a frozen lake is still a pretty scary afternoon. Coming in at number 9, Mysterious Images. In 2013, a group of conservationists were reconstructing huts in the Arctic when they ran across a lockbox frozen in a block of ice. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I were to come across a locked box frozen in a block of ice, I would probably take a moment and think before I opened it, as I'm pretty sure that is how every horror movie with an evil curse starts. But thankfully, inside this box was just a few black and white photos. That being said, however, the photos themselves were not completely innocent. Once the images were formatted to be visible, they realized they had come from Ernest Shackleton's 1914 expedition, and the photos depicted several nerve-wracking moments from the trip, including their ship stuck and sinking in the ice. Hopefully there wasn't anything more sinister locked inside that box with them. Next up at number 8, Alien Markings. Now it wouldn't be a scary top 10 video without a little wrinkle of alien conspiracy, now would it? So let me know what you guys think of this one, will you? Apparently two friends were walking along a frozen lake in Utah and made a strange discovery when they came across a strange formation. According to the friends, small holes could be seen poking out from the ice along with an odd formation lying underneath. Now, they speculated that it was some kind of debris left behind by aliens visiting the planet, while others online think it could have been a designated UFO landing spot. But the strangest theory is that they are alien eggs that were planted on the surface of the ice. Which if I'm understanding correctly would mean aliens are trying to overtake the planet by secretly implanting eggs in the ice. According to skeptics, this strange sighting could also be spilt coffee, salt that was used for ice fishing, or most plainly, a natural ice formation. So what do you think? Is it a secret alien egg farm, or just people losing their minds? Coming in at number 7, an ancient virus. It's not every day you think you're going to find a prehistoric virus buried 100 feet deep in Arctic permafrost, but back in 2014, in the depths of icy Siberia, two researchers did exactly that. The ancient virus, named pithovirus, is believed to date back 30,000 years and has remained completely untouched in its hibernation, but still completely active and capable of infecting amoeba. According to people much smarter than me, it's apparently a giant virus containing 500 genes, which is insane considering HIV only contains 12. However, there is no need to start panicking just yet. Luckily, experts believe it is very difficult to actually be infected by this virus as a human, although technically it wouldn't be impossible. Good thing I'm not planning on visiting Siberia anytime soon. Coming in at number 6, a message in a bottle. Now this one is frankly as depressing as it is scary, but terrifying discoveries come in all kinds of ways. So back in 1959, before the reality of melting glaciers and the climate crisis were fully understood or even really believed, a geologist by the name of Paul T. Walker decided to take matters into his own hands. He decided to put a note in a bottle instructing the finder to measure the distance from the bottle to the edge of the glacier and buried it in the frozen area. Fast forward to 2013 and two researchers uncovered this bottle encased in ice and decided to follow the directions Walker had left behind. Disturbingly, their findings revealed that the glacier had retracted over 200 feet since Walker wrote his note 54 years prior, proving the reality that so many wished was not true. Now, it's been 10 years since the 2013 discovery, and I worry how much it's moved since then. So yeah, scary in the sense that our Earth is melting at an insanely fast rate, and people still don't think the climate crisis should be a concern. Coming in 
And at number five, HMS Terror. You may or may not have heard of Sir John Franklin, the 19th century naval commander who set out to find the Northwest Passage. Either way, unlike some of the explorers of his time, he was actually incredibly prepared. The famous HMS Terror ship was a converted bomb vessel that had survived the War of 1812, and upon his Arctic expedition, he decided to reinforce the ship with iron plating to crush the thick layers of ice. From there, he stocked up with three years of food, and Sir Franklin and his 134 crew members boarded two ships and set sail. However, despite their best efforts, they were no match for the harsh conditions. The ship was lost to the Arctic, and its whereabouts remained a complete mystery. That was until August of 2016, when members of Arctic Research Foundation on their own expedition found the ship preserved under the ice. Now, the horrifying part comes when historians were able to piece together what their last days on the vessel could have looked like. Assumed to have been trapped by the ice for over a year and a half, the crew was dropping like flies, including their captain. The remaining survivors decided to abandon the ship and take their chances on foot, planning to reach a remote fur trading outpost several hundred miles away. But with no food, water, or resources left, the crew was left with but one thing to keep them alive, each other's flesh. There were no survivors, but many bodies remained mummified from the permafrost, allowing historians to learn about what really happened on the infamous HMS Terror. Coming in at number four, a woman. Speaking of terrifying human remains found buried in the deep glacial ice, I have yet another mummy to add to our list of spooky finds. However, this one has a few extra creepy details. Discovered over 20,000 feet above sea level on the edge of a volcano was the mummy of an Incan teenager accompanied by what can be assumed was the rest of her young family. And creepily, it's said she was so well preserved that she still had lice in her hair. Now, due to her incredible preservation, there were several interesting things that researchers were able to confirm. She suffered from tuberculosis, for example, and it was found she had been regularly eating coca leaves as well as copious amounts of alcohol prior to her death. But interestingly, that's not what killed her. It's assumed that 500 years ago, she and the others were given the drugs and alcohol to make them more compliant in the ritual that ultimately ended their lives. And evidence suggests that she was sacrificed to the volcano in a traditional practice. Practice. Now, while part of this is cool, historically speaking, it's also a bit terrifying, as you never know what kind of ancient curse could have been unearthed along with her. Coming in at number three, a deadly virus. It's not just an ancient virus that has been found hiding in the frost. Back in 2016, due to the rising temperatures in the Arctic, the usually frozen ground was beginning to thaw. Initially, though, no one thought much of it, but what ended up happening was an anthrax outbreak that killed one person and hospitalized 72. The cause? Well, apparently the local groundwater became contaminated by thawing deer cadavers who had once died from the infection. However, the most terrifying part of this is the precedent it sets for the future. Because of the cold temperatures in the Arctic, many viruses can stay perfectly preserved in the bloodstream, as was discovered in 1918 when six young men who had died from the Spanish flu were found with the active virus in their blood. So as the earth heats, there's worry that the buried bodies from deadly diseases like smallpox could begin to infect the living if the temperatures continue to rise, melting the frozen graves. Coming in at number two, a secret military base. In October of 2016, Russian scientists uncovered something truly shocking. It turns out back in World War II, he who shall not be named and his band of military followers built a secret military base in the depths of the Russian Icelands soon after their invasion of Russia. Located on Alexandra land, it is not known for sure exactly what the purpose of the bunker was. Some believe it was to learn about and become acquainted with the harsh weather conditions to be able to better attack when the time came, though some believe the leader sought out ancient relics he believed would give him great 
power. Upon its 2016 discovery, 500 different artifacts were found, including old weapons and documents pertaining to World War II. As with just about all frozen discoveries, the artifacts remained in excellent condition due to the extremely low temperatures. But that doesn't make this super secret war bunker any less creepy. For all we know, it could be haunted by the terrifying soldiers who once occupied it. And last up today in our number one spot, Otzi the Iceman. Discovered in 1991 by two German hikers in the Otzel Alps, Otzi is an incredibly well-preserved mummy of a man dating back to around 3300 BC. Now, are mummies inherently cursed and evil? No, but am I ever surprised when one turns out to be? Also, no. Apparently after the Iceman's discovery in 1991, the forensic scientist on the case, Rainer Hen, who also happened to be the first scientist to touch the cursed mummy, died in 1992 en route to a conference where he was planning to report his findings. Shortly after, one of the mountaineers who helped Dr. Hen to reach Otzi's remains died when a large rock fell and blew into his skull. Plus, the journalist who filmed Otzi's extraction ended up dying of a brain tumor. And it only gets worse from there. One of the hikers that originally discovered the mummy, Helmut Simon, disappeared for some time, only to be found at the base of a 300-foot cliff. And the man who found his corpse died while attending his funeral. Plus, Conrad Spindler, who was at the time the leading expert on the Iceman, went on record claiming that the curse was a hoax and that if it were true, he would be the next one to die, only to be found dead days later. Lastly, one of the other scientists who discovered too much about Otzi was found dead in his home with no reasonable explanation for his passing. So after seven deaths from people that either knew too much about Otzi or questioned the curse, I can safely say I never want to see this mummy as long as I live. Coming up in our number 10 spot, we have a throwing spear. A throwing spear that was approximately crafted over 10,300 years ago was discovered discovered by Dr. Craig Lee from Montana State University in 2007. It was discovered in northern Wyoming. 10,300 years ago, holy moly. Just saying that is so trippy and hard to wrap my brain around the idea of people existing at that point. But in any case, this spear at first glance appeared just like a stick. But then after closer inspection, he discovered that it was a dart from a throwing spear. At this point, it is the oldest frozen artifact found yet. It's been a source of inspiration for others to continue the hunt for artifacts that are being revealed as a result of melting ice patches, and it certainly has created a sense of urgency for people to get hunting for these unbelievable items. In our number 9 spot we have the Yukon Treasures. A size 4 moccasin shoe from 1400 years ago was found melting in the Yukon, and my inner shopaholic is super excited about it. So of course I had to include it on this list. Along with this shoe, two other items were found. A barbed antler projectile point from about 1200 years ago, and throwing darts from 9,000 years ago. Apparently they were found by a husband and wife in 1997 who were hunting doll sheep in the Yukon Mountains when they smelled something extremely strange. It was dung, yes, poop, from a caribou. But the thing is, caribou hadn't been in this area for many, many years, so they just decided to inspect it. <laughs> Naturally? <laughs> I wouldn't. Anyways, I guess they discovered that the poop was from thousands of years ago that had frozen into ice and close behind it were these artifacts that had melted along with it. Pretty wild. In our number 8 spot we have animal hair rope. While out exploring the mountaintops of western Mongolia, archaeologist and researcher Isaac Hart of the University of Utah discovered something quite interesting that he felt would truly help with discovering more about the Mongolia people in ancient times. They discovered a finely woven piece of animal hair rope. This rope was first thought to have been dropped in the ice recently, however after scientists performed some radiocarbon tests on it to see how old it was, 
was. It was proven to be more than 1,500 years old. Wow, that's some old rope. In our number seven spot, we have horn curls. On this same trip, looking for more artifacts, Isaac Hart found some Argali sheep skulls and horn curls from 1,500 years ago, which were stacked in a pile by ancient hunters. And this finding completely discounted some old assumptions about the Mongolian people in the past. They were long thought to be herding societies, but these findings show that perhaps they were big hunters on mountain ice. Wow, sometimes just talking about this just makes me feel super grateful to be alive today. Although we are all wimps now, just going outside when it's cold, you know, I'm already looking for the outdoor heater. Where's the outdoor heater? <laughs> What are we in ancient times? In our number six spot, we have Iron Age tunic. Apparently, as Norway's glaciers begin to melt, archaeologists are beginning to uncover a ridiculous amount of ancient treasures, and some say it is about 2,000 plus items to date. One of the most notable items, in my opinion, is some recovered clothing that was found. Honestly, not one item is better than the other. They all tell a story from the past and help us better understand how mountain populations lived. But still, I think it is so cool cool to see that they found some clothing that's approximately from 300 AD, an Iron Age tunic to be exact. That's not that old though compared to some of the other items that were found on this dig that were approximately 4,000 years old, but still, pretty cool. And one of the older items that was found is in our number five spot today, which is the walking stick. Now this item also is not as old as some of the throwing darts that were found, but it's so unique and cool that I had to put it on the list. It's not just any old walking stick. It's a walking stick with runic inscription. Whoa, so cool. I actually have rocks with ruins on them at home that I bought from like a new AG store and I love to look at them. Ruins are truly fascinating and quite beautiful. So I'm a big believer in symbology and the energy and power infused in symbols. So anyways, when I saw this recovered walking stick from the 11th century AD, I kind of freaked out and needed to share. In our number four spot, we have arrowheads. This is actually so cool. The entire video has been so fun to research, but finding this out was very interesting. I definitely need to go to museums more. I don't think I knew that I enjoyed history so much. Anyways, in 2003, a hiker was walking in a mountain pass near Sion, Switzerland, when he came across some treasures. Not gold, sadly, but what he found were items that are arguably way cooler from a Stone Age hunter from over 3,000 years ago. They were fragments of a bow, an arrow case, arrowheads, and leg coverings, all believed to be revealed due to the ice in the glaciers melting due to the rapidly changing climate. Pretty crazy. Imagine just going for a hike and discovering some ancient artifacts. I bet you there will never be a more interesting moment in your life. Although fine, the birth of your future child could be fairly special too. In our number three spot, we have the Viking whisks. Technically not considered ancient artifacts, but I thought this was cool and it needed an honorable mention. The melting of glaciers in Norway has actually revealed a lost mountain pass and with it, hundreds of Viking artifacts have been discovered. The pass was discovered back in 2011 as ever since, the glaciers have continued to melt and more and more artifacts have been recovered. Covered. The archaeologists believe the pass was used from the Roman Iron Age 300 AD to the Viking Age 1000 AD. From horseshoes to sled fragments to wooden needles to wooden whisks, all kinds of artifacts have been recovered. One of the most unique items include a Viking mitten and a blue textile rug. Wow, imagine finding a rug frozen on a mountain. Also, it's just wild to think that the Vikings had rugs. All I can think of when I think of Vikings is war, so it's probably just me and my limited imagination due to my limited knowledge of history. In our number two spot, we have arrowheads. Over 100,000 artifacts were recently uncovered in a place called Nunalik in Alaska. These artifacts belong to the Yupik peoples who lived there. There have been stories told over many centuries of a gruesome massacre that occurred during the bow and arrow war days, which was a series of long, brutal battles. Up 
Up until recently, the area had been frozen in the subsoil known as permafrost. The most notable items that were found were the slate arrow points that further proved the stories that have been told about these war times. Although these items aren't technically ancient, they are truly a wonder for archaeologists to discover and I thought it needed to be on this list. In our number one spot, we have an ancient lunchbox. A 3,500 year old lunchbox was discovered in Switzerland in the Swiss Alps. No, it didn't have a 3,500 year old cheese sandwich in it, but it did have traces of ancient cereal. Whoa, some ancient dude was just walking around the Alps eating an ancient version of Lucky Charms. The lunchbox is a Bronze Age wooden container, and apparently the food traces were of wheat and barley or rye grains. The lunchbox was made from Swiss pine, and its rim was made from willow, sewn together with European larch twigs. It was found in a melting ice patch in 2012. That's incredible. Probably my fave find on this list, but anything to do with food just makes me excited. Excuse me as I go pour myself a bowl of Lucky Charms. Feel free to join me if you like.